Hello, good evening church, welcome to our Sunday night time of prayer. We've been doing this over the last uh, few months during this lockdown season as an opportunity to pause at the end of a day to reflect on the week that's gone but also to look and pursue God in prayer and relationship in the coming week and each session has followed a similar format where we've looked at praying for those that are closest to us uh, to begin with then looking at those that are just further afield and then obviously praying for our nation as we as we just follow the ripples of prayer of God's heart outward uh, beyond ourselves. A few weeks ago, when I led a Sunday night prayer, I used an example and I shared it again just in a devotion, but I just wanted to kind of share the, the thought behind it again. If you watch that Sunday night prayer uh, that I led, I used an example of planting some seeds. Um, and the idea that as each prayer was prayed, I just put a seed in some uh, some soil and then watered it. Uh, just an example of coming back and nurturing the soil. And, and the idea that we plant things when we pray, some things develop, some things don't always uh, develop. And really, I use that as a, a complete illustration. I never really expected anything to happen. But about a week later, um, I'd left the pot and the soil and the seeds just in my office. And a week later, when it came to uh, to do one of the devotions, I was really surprised to discover that not only had the beans that I planted started to grow, and, and no, uh, they weren't magic beans, it wasn't Jack and the Beanstalk, but they'd started to shoot up. But also there was other stuff in the soil that had just sprung to life, things that I hadn't planted, but they were just waiting there for uh, the drop of water, the drop of life to stir those things up and, and bring some fruit. As I've been working at home, I've been into the church office less and less, but I popped in today and I, I was half expecting uh, the, the beads, uh, the beans and the shoots and things like that just to have dried up, but they've turned into something really else and as you can see uh, they've just started to grow and grow and uh, grow and all the little um, seedlings that are in there as well these um, I presume it might be cress or something like that grass seeds or something like that it's just again just growing things uh, that were planted and the symbolic nature of that that there's things that we pray for and some things work out the way we expected but also in our prayers things can just burst up from the ground. What I wanted to share this evening, just again reflecting upon these seeds, upon the things that have been planted, is to my surprise, I could imagine that if these beans carry on growing, they're flower at some point and they might even produce a small crop right here in the office. But really for that to happen, what needs to take place is for me to um, take them out, take these seedlings out, plant them in a garden so they've got a bigger um, surface to grow on so the roots can go uh, deeper. There can be a proper climbing frame for them to grow the right sunlight and all of those things. Sometimes in our prayers for things to grow and develop and we might see some shoots of life we need to share out, we might need to repot things, we might need to uh, look to other people to help us to come around us to stand with us to support us in prayer and tonight i know we've been doing that i know that we've been standing with people we've been encouraged to them but the prayers that we pray firstly know this that there's people on your heart that aren't just on your heart they're on the hearts of people around you as well there are people that are standing with you and encouraging you know that look to encourage other people in their prayers as well that you're praying for the same things as well that we can support each other, that we can be like that fresh soil in our prayer life. There might be things that you've been praying for years and years and years. Share it with some other people. It might be that you've been praying for family members, it might be a husband or a wife. Share that with other people. Get that fresh soil of their prayers as well. And it might be that we see things develop in a way that we unexpected. It might be saying that new life springs up. But you know what? Supporting one another in prayer can only be a good thing. So once we finish this prayer time, we're going to pray through our pattern of things that we would do is to remember to stop, maybe call someone up in this coming week and just say, how can I stand with you in prayer? How can I be your support structure? Can I bring new life, new soil into your prayer life? And let's see together what develops.
Prayer is fantastic because prayer is all about relationship. It's relationship with God, the one that we come before. Our prayers don't bounce off a ceiling or a, the walls of a room. It comes into a relationship with God. But it can also develop and strengthen our relationship within the church family as well. And who knows, some of the things that you've been praying for could just be springing up in ways that really weren't expected. So let's pray. We're first going to pause and we're going to pray for those that are closest to us. And this might be the moment where we pray for friends and family, maybe those that are closest to us. It might be a, a spouse, a partner, a husband, a wife. It might be a son, a daughter. Let's pause and let's pray. And I can just know that God's got his heart for these people as well. And there'll be other people in the church as well that I reckon are praying similar prayers to you. So know that your prayers aren't bouncing off a ceiling in an empty sphere, but they are being heard and there'll be people to support in them as well. Heavenly Father, in this first time of prayer, this, this moment where we just pause, Father, we want to thank you for the week that has gone before. A week that I'm sure is full of surprises, things that we've enjoyed that perhaps weren't expected, but they've come along and some of them have caused us great joy and excitement. They're probably things also that, that caused us some fear and anxiety because we didn't expect it. There's also been moments where we've just seen you move and do things in a new way, Father. So we thank you for the week that's gone. And right now, Lord, we pause and we lift up our family to you. We pray for our sons, our daughters, brothers, sisters, mothers and fathers, Father. Those that are poor in health, those that are... Um, not just um, suffering from this virus and perhaps even some of the, the restrictions that are there, but also those that have just had underlying issues all the way through this, those that are waiting on doctor's appointments, those that have had news this week that they just weren't expecting, Father. Father, our prayers this evening aren't just off to a, an empty sphere, but you are with us and you hear our prayers. And it's an opportunity for our family across the church to join together and stand with us. And so, Lord, when we lift up a person, we know that they're being lifted up multiple times. So I pray for peace in that situation. Amen. And then just as we look out, perhaps we're looking at our community and some of the things that are going on. There might be things that we want to pray for there. It might be our local community of Fundersley. It might be the community of your workplace. It might be just as you look ahead into uh, schools restarting, um, different things happening. It might be uh, different people coming back from being furloughed in your workplace, or it might be uh, what that means in the workplace as well. Let's pray for our colleagues. Let's pray for those in the community. Heavenly Father, we want to lift up our work colleagues to you. There'll be some of us that are watching this that are um, employed in a workplace and uh, we might be the only Christian there father but help us to be good bold witnesses uh, to you to be peace and light to those that are around us to offer listening ears during what has been a, a really strange difficult challenging time we pray for those that we know that are in, in employment that perhaps are struggling we think of the hospitality sector that's kind of all over the place the entertainment sector as well and that's you know affecting our local community people that we know uh, and we love and we we stand with them and pray that things would would move in a positive direction heavenly father we pray for our work colleagues and um, employment in this region father god the fear that this has brought to different people in different ways father god just the uncertainty that september october brings father pray that you just bring reassurance to those that people will discover you and know you for themselves in this time amen and as we look at our community our heart is drawn to our nation our governments and the things that are going across the world you know we only look to the news in these past few weeks few days even where there's been all kinds of stuff going on of course coronavirus leads the headlines but we've seen explosions across our world we've seen train accidents we've seen news coming out from hospitals we've seen uh, the exam grades all of those things father that we can lift up in in prayer 
and I'm sure we might know people that are affected by those different things ourselves. But it's also an opportunity to, for us to pray into things that perhaps we don't know too much, but he does, our Father. And so we can lift those things to him as well. Father, there's, there's things that happen on the news that are becoming news headlines for us and they'll grab our attention. And, and then as the news changes and then something comes in about restrictions being lifted or restrictions being imposed, we forget some of the things that are going on across our nation and our globe. Father, there's things that have happened recently in the news to nations that are just sad. People losing their lives, livelihoods, even seen a capital almost uh, destroyed by things that have happened. We've seen the weather bring destruction in this country and others. And we might know people that have been affected, but also in some way these are unknown people to us, but not to you. Lord, we lift up our nation, we lift up our government, we lift up our world to you, Father, and ask that you would be known in all of these things, that you would turn these situations around, that in darkness and despair and in fear, you would become the light, you would become a place of comfort and a place of restoration. Amen. Thank you for joining me uh, tonight in prayer. Remind, uh, Be uh, confident to uh, ring someone up this week and just uh, speak to them. It might be someone that you have a good relationship with that you kind of do this uh, for anyway. It might be that you're in a prayer partnership or um, a little group that gets together and just encourage each other that you're praying and remembering not only each other, but the things that we're praying about as well. It might be that you'd love to have support in that way. And then you can do so by just letting us know. Send us an email or in the comment section or through Facebook or YouTube. Any way that you can contact us and say, look, I'd love for someone to stand with me um, in prayer. I'd love to get a little partnership going so I can pray for others. But I can also know that they're standing with me uh, as well. Look at our family news. E! News comes out every uh, Monday. Uh, that's updated with just some of those that we're praying for and we're just uh, responding to different things as well. Use that as a bit of a guide for things that are happening in the fellowship. But also look at the news. Look at local community pages about things that are going on. Uh, things that some things might seem small to us, but they're, they're big things uh, to other people as well. And we can be praying for those people. And we can be confident and we can encourage uh, those people as well and each other have a fantastic uh, rest of the week as we say goodbye to this previous week and we look to him to provide and encourage us and call us over this coming week see you all soon keep in contact and uh, yeah god bless you all bye bye